Good day everyone, this is Teacher Jane and welcome to my channel. So today we will be discussing basic statistics, measures of central tendency for grouped data. So last time we discussed natin is ungrouped data. So first let's discuss about the mean for grouped data. Now let's proceed with the mean for grouped data. So the symbol for mean for Group data is x bar. Ayan. And then, this is equal to the summation of the frequency times the class mark of each class divided by the, the summation of frequency, wherein f is the frequency of each class and x is the class mark for each class. So, ayan. So, if this is the class interval, ayan. and then the frequency, these are the numbers who got the scores 11 to 15. Ayan. Ito yung data na nagather natin. So, to get the mean, to get the mean, syempre, dadagdagan natin yung ating table ng frequency uh, f of x, f times x. So, ano nga ba yung x? So, yung x, ito yung uh, gitna ng ating class size or class intervals. Ayan, yung pinakagitna. Diba, ito 11 to 15. So, ano yung gitna ng 11 to 15? Which is 13. So, gitna ng 16 to 20 is 18, 21 to 25 is 23. Ayan. So, kukunin natin, tinawag natin na middle score. And then, class mark rather, class mark. And then, multiply natin ngayon yung f of x. f x or f times x or frequency times the class mark of each class. So, 1 times 13 is 13. 2 times 18 is 36. 5 times 23 is 115. And so on. And then, after we got that, we add or get the summation of the frequency, we get the total or the sum of frequency, which is 48. And then, yung product ng frequency at yung class mark ay i-add natin. So, we get or we got, rather, we got a uh, summation of f of times x is 1,549. And then, use now the formula. So, dahil na add na natin yung uh, product ng frequency and class mark, eto na yung 1,549 divided by the summation of frequency, which is 48. So, the result is 32.27. So, the mean is 32.27. Another example. So, for the mean gross sale of Aling Meli Sari Sari store for the month, for one month. So, ito yung kanyang data. So, sales in pesos and then frequency. So, if we add the table, so ito yung ating class mark at ito yung product ng frequency and yung class mark. Again, paano natin ulit nakuha yung class mark na yan, yung gitna ng ating uh, class intervals. So, 1,001 to 1,500, ang gitna niya is 1,250.5. So, paano nakuha yun? So, i-add nyo lang and then divide by 2. <clears throat> and then multiply. So, after you multiply or you get the product, add natin yung uh, frequency which is 30 and then add natin yung product ng bawat class size. Ayan. Then, substitute na natin sa ating formula. So, the summation of F times X is 
99,015 divided by the summation of frequency, which is 30. So the result is 3,350, a uh, 300 point five. Three thousand three hundred point fifty cents. Now let's proceed with the median of for grouped data. Yung median, median for grouped data. So the median for grouped data is the middle value in a set of quantities. It separates an ordered set of data into two equal parts. Half of the quantities found above the median and other half is found below it. In computing for the median of group data, the following formula will be used. Ayan. So, median is equal to the lower boundary of the middle class plus the summation of frequency divided by 2 minus the cumulative frequency before the middle class and then divided by the frequency of the middle class and then the class interval. So, ano, -ano ba yun? Again. So, ito yung ating mga symbols. Ayan. Median. Ito yung ating median. So, kaibahan ng ating mean, x bar, ito naman, ay x and then uh, may wave siya sa taas. Nakalimutan ko yung tawag ng symbol na yan, pero parang symbol siya na similar symbol. So, lower boundary of the median class, and then summation of total frequency, cumulative frequency before the median class, and then frequency of the median class. I is the class size. Okay, so ano ba yun? Uh, ayan. Sagdagan natin yung table. Ito na ngayon yung lower boundary, and then ito yung cumulative frequency. So, paano nga ulit nakuha yung lower boundary? Titignan nyo ito, ba? Ito yung ating left side of the class interval. Yung lower boundary niya is babawasan mo lang ng 0.5. So, ito naging 10.5. Ito, ba 16 yan. So, magiging 15.5. Ito, 20.5. 25.5. So, ito yon. Lower boundary. So, ano naman tong less than cumulative frequency? Okay, so, eto yon. Ia-add lang natin yung ating frequency pababa or, ayan, so, 1 plus 2, 1, sorry, write 1, and then 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 11 is 19, 19 plus 12 is 31, 31 plus 11 is 42, 42 plus 5 is 47, 47 plus 1 is 48. So, ayan yung ating cumulative frequency. So, apply na natin yung ating uh, formula. So, first, add natin yung ano nga ba yung total frequency. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating total frequency, which is 48, so, dapat dito sa ating cumulative frequency, ang, ang pinaka-last mo din dapat ay 48. So, the frequency distribution for the data is given below. The columns, lower uh, LB and cumulative frequency are added. So, ito yon. So, now, paano natin malalaman yung ating tinatawag na median class? Ayan. So, since, ayan, ang total natin ay 48, so, divide natin siya by 2, so, we get 24. So, the 24th quantity is in the class 31 to 35. So, an, saan ba makikita yung 24th? 24th, eh, diba? Ito, 1, 3, 8, 19. So, dito naman, 42 na. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yung ating 24th. So, ang middle class natin, ang median class size, class natin rather, sa class interval, ito, 31 to 35. So, ibig sabihin, dyan natin makikita ang ating median. So, ito yung ating lower boundary, which is 30.5. Cumulative frequency is 31. So, ano yung before ng ating cumulative frequency, which is 19? Ang kanyang after naman ay 42. So, tandaan natin yan. Ayan. So, ito yung ating mga given, ha? Lower 
boundary of the median class which is 30.5. So, dito tayo nakatingin. Summation of frequency which is 48. And then, cumulative frequency before the median class which is 19. So, frequency of the median class is 12. Ito yun. And then, the class size is 5. So, paano nga pala nakukuha yung class size? Ito yung sa ating class interval, 11 to 15. Ilan yung distance nila, which is 5. So, now let's solve for the median. So, apply na natin ngayon sa formula. So, ito na nakuha na natin yung mga given. Substitute lang natin siya sa formula. So, 30.5. 30.5, ito yun, dito yun nakuha, lower boundary, and then, summation of frequency divided by 2, and then, cumulative frequency before, ito yun. So, substitute lang natin, and then solve. So, the result is 32.58. So, ibig sabihin, our median is 32.58. So, ayan. So, 31 to 35, diba? So, nandiyan yung ating median. Another example, solve for the median gross sale of Ali Mele Sari Sari store for one month. So, ito yung ating table, sales in pesos and then frequency. So, i-add natin yung frequency, we got 30. So, add tayo ng dalawang table, yung ating lower boundary and cumulative frequency. So, again, nakukuha itong lower boundary bago yung ating left boundary na tinatawag. So, minus 0.5 lang. Yan. And then, ating cumulative frequency is i-add lang natin. So, first 1, copy ahead, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 6 is 23, 23 plus 4 is 27, 27 plus 3 is 30. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parehas ulit ng ating frequency. Then, substitute na natin yung ating formula. Pero bago yun, paano natin malalaman or paano natin makukuha yung ating mga given sa formula? So, divide muna natin ang frequency, total frequency divided by 2, we get 15. So, titingnan natin sa cumulative frequency kung nasaan ba yung ating tinatawag na uh, median class. So, 12, wala dito. So, sabihin, 17, so, malapit siya yung 15, Kesa naman sa 23. So, ibig sabihin, nandito ang ating middle class or median or middle class. And then, substitute na natin yung ating given. So, hanapin muna natin, syempre, lower boundary of the middle class is 3,000.5. So, ito yun. Summation of frequency, which is 30. Cumulative frequency before, so which is 12. And then frequency of the middle class. So, titignan niya frequency, middle class, 5. And then class size is 500. Paano na kuha yun? 3,001 to 3,500. So, yun yung ating class size. And then, substitute na natin sa ating formula. So, we get 3,300.5. Five or 3,300 pesos and 50 cents.